friends, it is so good to see you today. Today is Wednesday after the sixth Sunday of Easter. Did you know that Easter was more than just one Sunday? It is. It is a lot of days where we get to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. We're going to go sing a song with Mr. Bruce this morning, and when we get back, we're going to read a story. Let's call Mr. Bruce. You guys ready? One, two, three. Three. Hey, Mr. Bruce. Hey, friends. I may have gotten a little carried away with this week's song, and by that, I mean you might hear more than one of me. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. been learning in Sunday school about things that Jesus wanted the disciples and people who love Jesus to know before he went back to heaven. Now Jesus knew he was getting ready to go back to heaven again and he wanted to make sure that the disciples knew this thing before he left. He wanted them to know that he and God loved them no matter what they thought or did, said or felt. Jesus and God would always love them. We are going to read the story today, Where the Wild Things Are, and see how this connects to our Sunday School lesson. The night that Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. An ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and day, and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws till Max said, be still and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. I 
dancing in the moonlight. And swinging from the trees. Looks like they're walking around in a parade. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being the king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and throughout a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Much like Max knew he could go home and his mom and dad would be there to love him no matter what. We know that God and Jesus will love us even if we leave and go to where the wild things are. They know that we are special and loved and we know that no matter what we do, we are always loved, we are always cherished, and we are always special to God and Jesus. I hope you guys have a great week. I love you all. And don't forget, wash those hands.